Hi, this is Fee, start of my uh, vlog for the fortnight. Today's date is Monday the 13th of May. It's uh, quarter to quarter to eight in the morning. Um, which means I've got one hour and 15 minutes before the next episode of Game of Thrones. So um, from this I'm going straight out to watch Game of Thrones, watch to, to watch the episode before um, the next episode. So this is just a little quick hello on here and start of the start of the vlog. Um, what have I done in the last three days? I've been on day shift, so I don't post, I don't do vlogs when I'm on day shift at all. I don't do any recording at all when I'm on day shift. I come home at the end of the day, I have dinner, and I will basically, you know, diamond paint or whatever. But it's not done on camera, there's no recording. So I've just come off three day shifts. I'm on night shift tonight, so. I'll stay up till 11 yet again and then go to bed and go to work. Um, so yeah, in those three days, I uploaded, what did I, I uploaded a couple of things. So that was interesting. No, I only uploaded one thing after my blog, um, which was interesting. Interesting comments. Leave it there. Um, well, no, I'm not going to leave it there. I've turned the comments off. By leaving the comments there, it may just cause a bit more drama. Don't want that. Not worth it. I will say with the comments, it's funny how most people that made comments talked about both items. Um, there were some comments that just focused on one of those one of those things that was unboxed. Uh, so yeah, um, disabled comments. Um, so what else I have? So I, I think in that one I mentioned that I've ordered a short link canvas. I've received a less than 24 hours after I paid. I received a picture of the canvas packaged up. So when that arrives, I'll, I will do a comparison between the picture they sent, which is this picture. So I can't read that, don't understand it. But if you actually look at the box, you can see there's a tear in the box. So I, in the cardboard, um, I don't believe that'll affect the box because I know what they come like packaged. Um, but when I get, when I receive this, I'll be able to tell whether that exactly is that or whether they just send you a picture just to make you feel good. But yeah. Uh, fingers crossed that hope that arrives by Friday. It was paid, I paid air freight for it. So I paid 28 odd dollars US to get it freighted quicker um, and it was actually about five dollars more than the actual diamond painting um, but yeah that's a short link canvas uh, about I think it's a 75 by 200 so it's going to be big I will say this is the last time I've only had one short link canvas um, where the drills were really good quality, like the canvas. Um, some people don't like short length canvases because they you fold them, but um, the one that I've done, end result, I've got it. <clears throat> I've got it on a skirt hanger on the back of <clears throat> uh, my guest bedroom door. Um, still on. Oh, you know, I haven't done anything with it. It's, or not, I haven't even done any form of sealing on it, which is what I do mostly do on. <clears throat> I do on rounds. Um, so yeah, with that one that I did, 
I had a lot of static with the drills and that's the only thing that I'm really worried about is I believe I will get a lot of static with the drills. So when I unbox that one, um, I'm going to pop the drills into the freezer and obviously have my dryer sheets handy and um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can swear as many times as I did the last time I unboxed one of those. Um, on the side of recordings, I will say um, there is two. I do when I do unbox when I receive something. I do an unboxing of a, something and then I do a kidding up on two separate recordings. Um, when, and we can, we can all relate to this, when you receive a package, before you even open it up, you already have a preconceived conception on how you feel about it. If you have ordered something and you've had issues with delivery of it, um, or you've had to talk to the basically you've had to talk to the supplier and it's come up neg negative way um, that negativity can be brought into the unboxing which is what happened in um, the unboxing I did um, yet if you haven't had any issues in receiving something and all you've seen is extreme happiness by everybody else that's unboxed you already have that conception of how good it's going to be and you already have that excitement and anticipation so there's two types of unboxings that people do one is where and both of those have a preconceived misconception of how they are going to feel about that if you watch a box unboxing where somebody is already not happy it's generally a negative if you receive an um, if you do an unboxing and you've had no issues with receiving it, no communication with the company, and you've seen just everybody unboxing with these, everybody doing unboxings with the same attitude of perceived of how others have unboxed. I don't know. I don't know whether to say that or the reaction of other people how they've unboxed, and they're expecting the same thing, and that's how they unbox. Um, when I do a, an unboxing, you get my initial feeling. I don't, I don't open the package whatsoever. So I will pick up my package, and then I unbox it that day. I don't. Oh, actually, no, I won't say that. There is times where I actually pick up a package and it just sits in my boot. Because I'm waiting for Nathan to not be around because it's easier to do an unboxing when he's not around. You don't get his burps and all the other noises that comes from him. Um, but I tend to do receive the package and I do the unboxing as soon as I get the package in most cases. I don't wait. So my feeling of how that package is going to be is that's where it starts from. So I've got to pick up a package and it's I've had issues with it. I've received that package. I've had the issues. I'm feeling like I'm still going to continue on having issues. Whereas others at other times it's no issues. It's arrived and all I've heard is or seen is good things about it. So that excitement is there. Um, Ever moment is a prime example of that. Oh, there was so many unboxings of Ever moment stuff that when my Ever moment stuff arrived, I had no issues with it. Arrived quickly, and I had the excitement and the hype of everybody else, and I was so excited to get this shoe. So maybe. If I had um, not had any issues with delivery, if delivery had been a lot quicker than that 25 days, 
maybe I would have opened it up with excitement and anticipation and had a different opening um, experience. And I will say that that goes with, if you actually watch other YouTubers, you will see that if they've had issues, it does show at the, at the unboxing. Um, and But my real feeling about a diamond painting is generally comes out when I do a kitting up. Because once I, when I'm kitting up, there is none of the misconception of the product. I have the product there, I have calmed down. Or the excitement of it has, uh, and the hype has, of receiving it has calmed down. So that's when you see a kitting up is actually a better way of seeing somebody's true feeling about that picture. Which is why I really do like watching people kit up. Kitting up is, kitting up gives me a better idea about something I want to purchase than an unboxing. Because an unboxing can be so biased by that initial feelings. Um, yeah, because YouTube does tend to hype up some good stuff and then if it's not good, it doesn't take long for other YouTubers to have that same attitude before they even open up some package. And I think we've all seen that. Um, so yeah, I've um, kitted up my late package. And... Um, I um for the reaction I will say for the reaction that I got on the unboxing I've decided I'm not going to kit it up I'm, I'm not going to upload um I'm not going to put it on my YouTube channel I won't work on it uh, when I work on it I won't record any of it but when I actually do get around to working on it you will see it as part of my updates of stuff. So at the end of my vlogs, you know, I go, this is what I've done. This is what I've achieved. Um, this is what I've done for the fortnight. So you might see it show up there when I start working on it. Um, the other thing is that canvas, the blank canvas. I've chased that up. And apparently I'm getting sent another one. 80 by 120. Um... I contacted them and they said no there's a fluctuation in size it's, it's that's acceptable and I went no 20 centimeters is not one or two centimeters is not acceptable and in that message I said if you don't respond to me within 24 hours I will lodge a dispute and uh, 24 hours later I got a response so we'll see what happens there and I'll go into that further when um, the dispute is resolved or whatever happens with it. Um, just trying to remember. Even when I <laughs> when I unbox that one, that was so funny. When I unboxed that one, I couldn't remember. Um, how do I put it? I couldn't remember the name of the company, but I think most people would have known who it was. So the company, what it was, was from the AZQSD official store, which is Huacan. I've not ordered anything from Huacan before. Um, yes, I've seen others with um, issues with the drills, and that big old drum again. But I got a blank canvas. <laughs> I wasn't ordering their drills at all. Um, so, uh, we'll just see what happens with that one. But I have looked at that canvas. If they send me a replacement one and it is 80 by 120, I will use that for a different picture because I have actually looked at the one that I can put on that one that I've got and I can bring it in on the sides and it's not going to affect the picture. I've really looked at that. Um, what else? 
Ooh, I've done some Amazon ordering. Um, <laughs> I've bought some more paint by numbers. I really did enjoy doing those. So um, I've done two time lapses previously of paint by numbers. So there'll be a couple more of those when they come through. Um, expecting one on Friday. Um, so yeah. And what else have we got? Plans for the fortnight. Plans for the fortnight. Yeah, a lot of plans for the fortnight. Whether they happen or not, <laughs> we'll see. One of the things I want to do is a... On one of my... I've got two deep diamond paintings there that I want to put resin on. One of them has AB drills, because I want to see what the effect the resin has on the AB drills. And I have had somebody actually ask what effect it would have so what I'm going to do is I will actually put a picture up on that and um who was it that said it do to do sorry bear with me because I'm one of the No, I can't see it there. Um, but yeah, somebody has actually asked what it's like on um, Able Drills. So I'm going to give that a go. But I'm going to do a, and then I'm going to do one with a very thin layer. I'm not going to put it on, how do I put it? I don't, I'm not going to mount it on any form of frame. The plan is just to try and put a thin layer over top of the canvas and then trim the edges and see what that effect is, how, <coughs> um, not how, how thick, but go, I'm going to try and keep it thin and see if, two things, if that still keeps the shine and the sparkle and also more to see how it sits. It will be on a square. The reason behind that is um, I have my son's massive soulmates, the five panel that I did, and what he wants is a, a layer over top and he wants it on a very thin board and if I can do it just on the diamond painting alone and not needing to put it on a board it might give the effect that he's after so that's a trial and it's going to be on a square um, I won't be having the resin going over the edges which is when I do the diamond paintings I generally have to cut them in so then the resin can go over the sides of it. This one, I just want the resin to sit on top of it um, just to keep all the drills in place and just make it so that nothing pops. So I have um, one square. I'm going to do that on specifically my um, dark flower cat. Dark flower cat. Um, and do it on there. To see how that goes because that one had a bucket load of popping drills. I aqua glued it to um, stop the popping while I was working on it, um, which I will say there's no more popping on it, but I'm going to turn around and put the uh, resin on that one too as a good test piece. So yeah, um, I'll leave that there. Game of Thrones on in about 50 minutes. So I'm going to disappear to the front room with my little diamond painting, my little 20 by 30, I think I'm 20 by 30, around and um, sit there and watch the episode before and then watch Game of Thrones, uh, the next episode. So I will see you shortly. Okay, today's date, 18th of May, Saturday, um, four minutes, more two. Is it four more minutes? For well, one hour and four minutes. Voting closes in Australia. Um, so yeah, I've gone and done my, my duty, my voting. Um, if you guys in the US, Australian voting is compulsory. If you don't vote, you get fined. Um, so yeah, done my compulsory vote. 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 <laughs> compulsory vote. Can't get that word out right. Um, and it is um, being 
four minutes to five. You hear that? Hang on, I'll see if I can show you him. He's just sitting there. Boot, boot. That's what he does. <laughs> um, he's not underfed. He's definitely not underfed, but from four o'clock till five o'clock, he does that. Um, that's just him. He carries on like that for about an hour or until I feed him. He, um, he tries very hard to get fed as soon as he possibly can. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's actually a very loud cat. He's very, very vocal. Um, all right, so what have I done so far? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I have had so much. I have done so much. Um, I have unboxed and kitted up, oh my god, the short link canvas. I haven't put them up yet. Shush, boots. Um, I haven't put them up yet. Um, <laughs> I've got to put it together. Um, because of the size of it, I've had to um, adjust things to try and film it at, and I've filmed it in a couple of different locations, and because my desk is just not big enough. Uh, so yeah, that's been done. I had, and I knew it was going to happen. I had a well, I didn't know. I had a big. expectation that I was going to get static drills because the last shot link canvas I had had static -y drills so um, oh my goodness I before I actually kitted up I thought about how I was going to tackle the static because these drills they you get static where it just sticks to your fingers and sticks to the bag and then you've got static where it just goes ping, ping, ping all over the place. And that's what I had the last time I kitted up this kitted up a short link canvas. And when I saw the bags and I you could see how heavy duty that static was. Um, so I had to think, try and think outside the box how to reduce the static. Just hang on a sec, I'm just gonna adjust that. That's a bit better. Um, yeah, so I, I tried to work out. I thought about how I was going to reduce the static, and I am. I think it's only about five minutes. You get a recording of five minutes of um, what I did in relation to the static, and that was a case of well, when I um, did the last shot in the canvas, it was on a, directly on top of the canvas, which is a plastic top, which with the plastic cover which doesn't reduce the static so I made the decision that's it I won't have the picture there not that it fitted on my desk anyway um, and then um, I thought about the freezer so people say put it in the freezer so I put it in the freezer and they were in the freezer for about four hours yeah no that didn't work anyway but I put it in there anyway. And then it was, well, the dryer sheets, I know the dryer sheets work. We put those, you know, you cut up dryer sheets and you put little, little squares of dryer sheets in there. So I was like, oh, if you put it in there, if you put it in the cat container and it reduces the static, what happens if you actually put the drills, empty the drills onto the dryer sheet? Is that going to make a difference? You know, the dryer sheet, as at least, is a little bit soft and spongy, which means that when the drills actually bounce land, because of static, they're not going to bounce very far. That was my thinking. And um, outside thinking outside the square, it actually worked. Um, I think, I don't know, it's about 55 colours, 52, 55 colours. So that's a lot of lot of bags to open up. Um, 
but it wasn't because I was already prepared for it and I thought about it, I nutted it out and it was, I was really happy and impressed that it worked. So I don't think I've seen anybody else do that. All I've ever had was put it in the freezer, dry our sheets in the containers and I think I've heard somewhere about static spray but I'm not prepared to put static spray on stuff because that could have a reaction to the glue when you're actually placing them. So hopefully um, my um, static trick, you like it and it works for you if you come across static and hopefully you never come across static like that again. But if you purchase one of these short link canvases the way I did or even through the person that I, I purchased the first one through, be prepared for that static and if you're prepared for it, you can deal with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kept going with well, my first one. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm still cringing at that. It was funny, but I'm still cringing at, at what happened. Okay, so that's done. That I've received one of my paint by numbers, and I've already uploaded the um, the um, uh, 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 unboxing of that. I've started um, time lapsing and painting that. Um, I uploaded my fourth South Africa trip, fourth um, whip for South Africa. Um, I have uploaded the blank canvas, lioness and cub setting, setting up the canvas. And then I did upload the lioness cub um, drill setup, which is actually when I received, received the drills. Um, so I unbox them, unpacket them, I suppose, and put them straight in containers. So I've done that. I've done work-wise. What have I done? So I've done some. I've done some paint by numbers. I've done uh, <laughs> about ten centimeters, about that much of um, the seventy-five by two hundred short length. I have done oh, okay. the custom, the blank custom. Okay, I have now placed, and I feel funny thinking about it, but I've placed a thousand drills, and in those thousand drills, I have used 32 of my 103 colours. So it is, this is going to be confetti. Uh, I know I knew it was because I did my selection oh that's where I have to do I haven't recorded that yet um, because I haven't because I made my selection as fairly wide in how many colors I knew that I was going to get a lot of colors I could have reduced that selection had less colors and I wouldn't have had as much wouldn't have as much confetti um, but that's what I just remembered is the process I was going to do a video on that um, so there we go. I've got, what have I got to do? I've got to do, maybe I need to start writing a list of things I want to do. Um, but yeah, so that's where I've got to do, well not, I don't have to do, but I want to do so that you guys can see if you want to do the same thing. Perhaps tackle something a tad smaller. Um, I seem to bite off more than I can chew at times. Um, so yeah, so what I've got to do is I've got to edit and upload the short link canvas unboxing and kidding up the static drills, how to deal, how I've dealt with them, and then I've got um, how to how to use this program to um, get your own, create your own um, custom picture, um, which uh, very easy to do, very easy. You can't change the symbols, but you can change the size. So you've got a good idea of what size you want to go with your picture. Um, if you only want to do a 40 by 50, you can put your picture in there, say I only want this size, and it will actually, you will see what it's going to look like. Um, one of the things with this, so is if you actually have a picture, I'll leave it there, because uh, uh, I don't want to go into that in this, I'm, otherwise you're going to have a, this is 10 minutes, so this is not just about long enough. But hopefully you've you've seen it already. If not, it will be coming up because um, I'll be recording it very soon. Uh, hopefully tonight. 
Nathan is, um, well, let's just start. It's about five past seven, seven past seven. Uh, Nathan's going fishing tonight, so he's going from work to his mate's place and they're going straight out fishing. He'll probably be home at 11 o'clock tonight, so I'll, um, I'll, do, I'll be able to get some more stuff done without him. Um, dinner's in the slow cooker, so when I'm ready to eat, I'll have dinner. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. I haven't done any resin work. I want to do it, but I think some of this other stuff with the uh, diamond painting has, well, taken prior priority. For a diamond painting, of course it's going to take prior priority. Um, when you've got big projects that you just got to get on with, um, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this blank custom. But I think I've got it worked out how to do it. It's just going to take time. Um, so I'll leave it there and I will see you shortly. Uh, today's date, Tuesday, the 14th of May. So you only just saw me do um, Monday morning's post. This is Tuesday morning. I've just gotten home from work. Um, I mentioned a short neck canvas before that I've ordered. Um, I placed the order on the 8th of May. Um, processed, the actual, no, the, the quote was made on the 8th of May. 9th of May, I actually paid for it and they shipped it. And um, I uh, got a nice little notification to say that um, they tried to deliver it yesterday, which is while I was asleep. And um, so from when I paid for the order, one, two, three, four, five days. So um, I will be, well, it's only 25 past seven. Where I pick it up is not open until eight o'clock. So I'm going to drink my coffee and then uh, go and pick it up. Um, I will say that I will unbox that as soon as I come home. I will get out of my work clothes, but um, I'll, about, I'll unbox that as soon as I get home. Um, I know the short link, can short link canvas isn't everybody's cup of tea um, because it comes folded. Um, so you might have said, well, well, you will have seen it before this comes out. You will have seen it. Um, and you'll ask, you know, why have I, I'm going to put up a bit of a notification at the top for the beginning of it, I think, to say, warning, short link canvas, if you don't like it, please don't comment. Um, it's either that, or I might not put the warning up, or I might just say, unboxing short link canvas, whatever. And, um, just have to watch for comments and if, if any put anybody puts their going I hate short link canvas or never touch one that's their choice so I'm just going to delete the comment because um, I think it's come to that point where I just feel like if there's anything that yeah I'm not going to rant anymore I need to not rant anymore so the flip side of that as well is I got notification of oh there's another one uh, I got notification of um, some packages that are coming. What I will, so one of the things I actually have, um, it's too much light. There we go. See, this is actually my app. So I fairly keep track of um, what comes in. When... You can see actually top one, so the, they're the drills for my blank custom. I This is where I keep track of everything that comes into me, which is, you know, pretty good way to track stuff. Um, but, hang on, where is it? Was that that one? Um, yeah, so I put names on them and all of that so I know I track them properly. 
um, once they're delivered, that name actually changes back to the delivery order number. But um, you know, if if you're in Australia, if you get an Australia Post um, account, and you what they do is anything that's coming to you for your residential address, or if you're using parcel locker. Um, what the app allows you to do is, so I've got, if we get there, on that package there, I know what that is. Um, see how there's a choice, I can redirect it. So instead of having it coming, because I know that that package is going to be delivered to my door, I can have it delivered, re -like, uh, redirected to my parcel locker. Um, one of the three I'm registered with because it all depends on where I'm where I am in my roster where I get it delivered. Um, so that's just something a little handy for anybody that's uh, in Australia. An Australia Post account, personal account, costs nothing. A parcel locker costs nothing. And I tell you what, it's a lot easier than having to worry about something being hijacked from your your letterbox or off your front doorstep. Uh, which <laughs> does happen wherever you go, basically, wherever you go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to sit back and enjoy my coffee, watch the morning news, and then I'm going to take a drive and pick up this canvas. And then I'll unbox it. Um, so hopefully you've seen the unboxing and um, you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, I mean, this is... I think this one is 75 centimetres by 200 centimetres, so that's two metres long. Um, so that's going to be a fun one to do. So I will um, stop this here and I will see you in a second. Sunday, the 19th of May. I have done a bucket load of, and I will say bucket load of uh, YouTube clips uploaded in the last couple of days. Um, I, um, what have I done? I've done Paint by Numbers, the unboxing, my Whipping Chat South Africa number four. Stay tuned for the next episode because that is, um, the next episode we'll have, um, I plan to talk about going in and being with the white lines and where I got the picture for my custom. Uh, my black canvas custom so that'll be in the next episode um, I have uploaded the blank canvas lioness cub setting up um, the lioness and cub drill setup um, I think there's been a couple of times where I said 120 drills or 102 it's actually 103 colors um, I've uploaded the waterfall my short lip canvas um, unboxing of that one and I have now also uploaded how to fit static drills so that is the static drills was from when I was kidding up the waterfall so I hope you like that one when it comes out but when I did kidding up so what I've got yet to come out is the chart um, creating a chart for a blank 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 diamond painting which I've got the editing done for that so that's ready to go. Um, I have, oh yeah, the kidding up with the waterfall unboxing. I've actually created that one. That one's all good to upload. Um, it's, I've been doing a lot, but I've had plenty of time. Um, the reason being is because I'm doing, while I'm, I'm drilling, while I'm, I'm getting there with my diamond painting, I'm actually able to edit while I do it. Um, I can't do any, any editing while I am working on the blank custom because that's taken a bit more um, thought. Uh, however, I will say that while I'm working on that, I've been listening to a lot of YouTube clips and I have worked out a way to actually get to and watch um, watch watch so much more YouTube clips because I've actually worked it out and I'm, I'm going well. 
today's date is Friday, 20th, 20, bleh, 24th of May. Um, so yeah, I've come off shift, I've had a couple of hours sleep, and this is my last uh, recording for the fortnight. I had, um, so I've moved crews at work, so I'm on A team, A crew, um, and one of the ladies A crew, I um, showed her diamond painting and she's it. She's uh, really enjoying it. She hasn't done any for the last three weeks for different reasons, uh, but she'll be heading back into doing it. So we were having a bit of a chat. I was talking about some of the stuff that goes on on YouTube. And she turned around and she went, it's a hobby for Christ's sake. So yeah, there's just been a little bit of ranting going on. And I mean, I'm probably guilty of it as well. And I think from now on going forward, I just need to remember how funny. Because for me, this is not, so the diamond painting is a hobby. The paint by numbers, the acrylic pouring, it, it's all a hobby. Doing YouTube is a hobby. I am not pushing for a large amount of subscribers. Um, if I was pushing for a large amount of subscribers, I'd be actually throwing every one of my YouTube clips up into um, Facebook groups, or those that allowed it. Um, I'd probably, well, I did. I, did. I created my own Facebook group, but yeah, no, I just can't do it. Um, this is all about me having a, a, a doing this for fun. Um, yeah, if <laughs> if I happen to hit a thousand subscribers and have enough hours to monetize, I will. Um, but I don't see that for a long time yet. I've been YouTubing since August last year. Maybe even July, end of July, beginning of August. Okay. But it is, it is a hobby for me. So I, I know I've had seen some stuff go on, and I've had some posts on my on my YouTube clips. Um. And what can I say? It's a hobby. If you don't like what I say, you don't like what I say. I don't need to justify it. That's how I feel at the time of the recording. It's like right now at the time of this recording. I feel like I should be in bed, but I know I can't go back to bed because I'll sleep for another few hours and I'll miss the rest of today. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to turn around and just have a lot of fun. What I thought I would do... <laughs> hmm is have a look at um, what I've uploaded this week and just have a chat with um, some of the comments that were made. And oh my goodness, haven't I done been busy? <laughs> um, hang on. Oh, very busy. I'm just... What I'm actually doing is opening up every one of these, so every one of the videos that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I've done in the last two weeks, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and wow, eleven I've put in. Yes. Um, so I work my way through. Um, the first one that I uploaded was the two boxing in one. Um, so that one I will, I've, I actually, so that was something from Diamond Art Club and it was also the blank canvas. Um, got some interesting comments on those. I may have already addressed them, um, I'm not sure, but um, I can't remember if I have addressed or not, so I'm not going to say anything there. Um, just because you don't need repeating of stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, so that one I'll leave there, but I'll have a look at the other stuff. So I did, I purchased the uh, Twisted Cherry Blossom 
Um, one of the things I saw with that is, so I've started working on that. The picture that you see on the screen is the original artwork. It has one swan on the front of it, and that is the original artwork. These guys that do this painting, they are licensed to alter the image. And so they have altered the image, and there is two swans on the front of it. It was just something that I picked up. Um, but thank you, Kathy and Anna, yet again. You ladies just... I really enjoy your comments. I really do enjoy your comments. Um, the next one, <laughs> next one uploaded was my weekly chat, South Africa number four. Um, one comment on there. Now the next one was the blank uh, blank canvas liners and cub setup. So that blank canvas ended up being. 99 by, I think it was 80, 80, when I ordered the 120 by 80 is what I actually ordered. I have had emails going backwards and forwards, so backwards and forwards with these guys. And the last lot of communications from... Lisa Wang is um, I had a little bit of backwards and forwards from that, but it took me a bit for um, a response. Whether that was because it was over a weekend or a break or whatever, I'm not sure. But um, we'll mail you the correct camp as soon as possible, 80 by 120. In a few days, we'll send a logistics tracking number and this tracking number in the resend parcel. So they have resent and um, uh, tracking history um, 19th of May. So, you know, it, it, I do have it tracked and it's on its way. I still have not acknowledged receipt. There's the big hint when you've got a dispute if you, as soon as you click on that, accept that you've received it, bang, they get the money. Lodge your dis contact the seller before you acknowledge uh, you've received it. Because um, they won't get any money until it's fixed or until I've acknowledged that I've received, the, received it. Um, so at until I actually acknowledge it, they've got no funds at all, whatever, for the product they've initially sent me, which is incorrect. So, there we go. Blank canvas, I've done one, two, three, four sittings. Um, and that's funny, so I'll cover that one shortly. Um, there's a lot of, lot of comments on that. Um, and yeah, you know, to be able to adapt because it's a long size because it was a blank canvas if I'd actually ordered that as a print maybe they would have gotten it right in the first place but um, you know who knows okay so yeah thank you and Hannah leader I'm actually I will say I'm not quite sure if I understand um, the, the, the comments is there, but I'm wondering whether that is you saying about how I create pattern, um, which I have, have ended up doing. Um, then the club, <laughs> the next one I did was the uh, Linus and Cub setup. I had so many deals, but because the diamond painting is now narrower, I won't be using all those drills and hopefully some will be good for I'll have a good amount of leftovers and um, next one I do won't have an issue with um, I won't have to order as many drills let alone a new canvas um, 
so Kathy, Anna, Donna painting with the orchid, Debbie, Kelly, yes, Debbie, I got my sound sorted, kind of, I'll go into that soon, um, Janice and Elaine, yeah, thank you for your comments on that, the, now, I, the next one I uploaded was the um, creating chart, if you want me to redo that one, please let me know. Apparently the sound was rubbish or very hard to hear for some people. Um, I have worked out what it is. Is my computer, um, the fan um, was full of dust. I've gotten in and I've cleaned that up. But it's still making that sound. So what I've constantly got is that the sound of this fan is going so fast. So um, I'm up for a new computer. That's um, that's the long and the short of it. There's nothing more that I can say except I have to buy a new computer. Um, so I was researching last night for a new computer, so I may have found one. Ouch, that one's going to hurt. Um, so, but please let me know if you believe that you need me to re-record that um, because it's a simple pro process but what happened um, was that it's, I'd recorded that on my desktop computer um, so therefore you've got the sound of the recording that's done on my computer and I don't know, maybe even now you can probably hear the whizzing of the fan. Um, <laughs> Cassie, yes, a white vulture. That was in Cape Town and it was pissing down with rain on that day and he wasn't happy. None of the animals in that area in that area that day were happy. Okay. Um, uh, the next one, whoops, I unboxed was the short lint, lint canvas. And I still actually haven't measured this length of it. Um, I know it's not as high as it should be. So it's supposed to be 75 by 200. And I know it's not 75. Um, and typical my style, I put my tape measure down and can't see it anyway. So um, the short length canvas, that's, I'm really liking working with that one. I killed a I, I learned how to deal with static finally with that one so hopefully you guys like uh, like that one um, and yeah I got 31 comments in this so that's absolutely amazing um, I will be ordering more short length canvases but I think I've got a few more um, projects to get completed first <laughs> and then there was obviously the one I uploaded for the static drills so that one is um, you know I had the big big tray and just pouring the drills onto a dryer sheet just stopped it for those of you that have seen it saw me unbox my last um, short lit canvas or kit it up um, they were bouncing everywhere um, but that was only the unboxing and I'm yet to, well, on my to-do list today is actually put that one, the kit up together so that you can see that. Um, because I've done so many, I've uploaded so many, I've just gone, that's it, I need to take a breather and stop uploading to give you guys a chance to um, watch everybody else. And then... I went to my first, well not my first section, because when I did the Linus and Cubby got the little 200 drills placed, excuse me, hang on a sec, that's something you don't need to see, is me sneezing on camera. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the Linus and Cub, I did the, I can't remember how many drills I placed in that section, but um, to do about... To do the section that I did, I'm ever, I, I sit down for about three to four hours to work on those, and I think that's the way I'm going to do it from now. Um, 
and have learnt that going row by row is essential. I am going to record all the work I do on this um, and I'll just put it as five minute time lapses or ten minute time lapses um, with how long it's how long it's taken me to do that section, how many drills and how many colour changes. Um, I mean the thing that I, I just uh, amazes me, like I did I chose 103, I ended up with 103 colours on that one. That's why there's so many colour changes. Um, but yeah, that's my own boom. Uh, okay, so then I did um, yeah, just the, another lioness and cub. So you see a lot of them. And then you did then my lioness and cub number two, where I sat for three hours, one thousand two hundred drills and forty six different colours. Um, not a very big section to have so many child colour changes. Um, so I, yeah, I will go through that. And Blondinio, I think that's how I project, produce your, pronounce your name. Um, I will show you, there's a question, how do you know what colours in the green trays before I kid it? <laughs> well, before I started drilling, um, yeah, I'll go through that process with my next one that I upload and then the next one and the last one that I uploaded was paint by numbers another two paint by numbers which is a sunset view sea view and elegant flower so that's just a little side thing to do um, with those they will just be time lapses while I'm just you get you do need a break from stuff and I love the term that is, I'm seeing around the place is people use you know, the term, you know, their snack. Um, so my snack is quite interesting and I'll, and I'll show you what my snacks are very shortly. What do I plan to get through to the, for the fortnight, next fortnight? Um, another whip and chat for South Africa, which I didn't do. Um, well, I did upload one, so that's next whip and chat will actually be where I got where I, where we took pictures of the lion and the, the lioness and the cub, um, took photos of the cheetahs and just some amazing pictures. So that will be I'll be doing that in the next this fortnight, and then obviously working on the ones that I'm about to show you. So now it is what. Yeah, now it's time for the update of what I've done. Um, oh, that's something I have done that I didn't show. Is what have I got on order? I have ordered a... <laughs> a 61 by 91.5 poster sound pic poster size picture um, of okay something different so hopefully you can focus on her so she is a steampunk um, these are originals this is stuff created by uh, an artist i actually don't know whether she is um, a west australian artist an australian artist or where she's from uh, but there is a company in perth and they have a massive massive range of canvases um, of, of stuff that you can uh, purchase what I will do is they have exclusive creations by Helen Reed and I will, before I actually say who they are, I will do want to contact them because I know they will, it, for, for the pictures that we get here, um, for the pictures that we get um, on, on this site, they're amazing pictures and 
I don't see much sitting around. Now, Rachel Ray, if you're watching this, um, if you uh, message me on Facebook um, and you do like your Japanese ladies, how stunning is she? Um, I, I'll pass that on to you if you're interested. Um, you know, there's quite a few different scenes there. I love that one when it focuses. It's not great. Um, but yeah, Rachel Ray, if you're interested, I'll give you the details. Um, otherwise, that's one that is a, you're going to have to wait until I, um, until it, it arrives so that then I can, I can't say anything about the quality. I don't know anything about the quality. Is, is, um, around, I ordered around. You've got a choice of square, round and sizes, a wide range of sizes. So stay tuned for that one, that unboxing. And, um, yeah, what I, what I am hoping to do is to be able to show that to you when that um, arrives. Um, I've also got Rachel Ray. Yet again, I've ordered the ring light that you bought because my lighting is shocking. Um, so I've bought that and I have another paint by numbers coming. But the paint by numbers is actually on a framed, on a frame. So there we go. Um, so now I will take you down here to my desk where um, all the stuff that I have done, um, you'll be able to see that. Okay, so my desk. This is what I have achieved so far. I got this dude completed. So this was the Wish Diamond painting that was um, supposed to be a full rhinestone and I've got a full refund on. It's actually quite pretty. I do like it. So it was a partial round. So that one will be going up on the wall. I won't be framing that. That's just going to go up as it is. Um, if I want to frame it, I will later. But um, I think I'm just going to use it up, put it on the wall. Uh, this one was sliding drills. Oh my goodness. I could not lean on these drills because they just slid as soon, as soon as you touched them they slid so i had to be very careful work with them so i sealed that with the apple glue so that one's finished um paint by numbers this is where i'm at with the paint by numbers there we go just got the tree basically i'm working on the leaves and No, I can't show you. There's the there's actually two swans there. Um, so that's there where they had the license to alter the image. Okay. Next one is okay. I've been working on the Panther. So he's got a lot more done now. Um I think I've done like this much here. I finally got his mouth on. So I've got to start working back on him. I put, so I did some of it, some more on him. Um, but then my big projects turned up and I got distracted. So I need to spend some time with my little panther. It's not funny, you press it and as soon as you find a loose drill, it's like, oh, I've got to make sure that's back up. Touch. Um, but yeah, that's the other moment. No popping drills there. It's fantastic. <laughs> Another drill. Uh, now, this one is the Diamond Art Tump one. And yeah, um, I'm still not 100% liking the feel of the back of that sandy. Getting used to it. I have done quite a fair amount for the size of this. I was able to take it into work and work on it during my breaks. 
So I've got, you know, all the white has been done. So that, now this, that's one thing, because this is velvet, it's now clinging to the back of my diamond painting that I've got um, underneath it. So it's actually clinging to it because of the velvet. Um, what I will say is I have done all of the 3865 in this. Well, I believe it's all. I don't think there's anything down the bottom. And one thing I did say was the only time I was going to talk about this was within my blog. <clears throat> but, where's my freezers? In... In the 385s, I have, so in the 385s I've done, this is a rubbish just for the 385s. And what I'm, what I had to look out for is, now let's, hopefully it's going to change it. There we go, that one's gone flying. I'm not picking this up by the edge of the, um, these are, actually hollow drills. So I've got quite a few hollow drills in this. I've had some hollow drills on the other, but um, yeah, hollow drills. I, I don't know whether you can actually see that. But basically it's the shell of a drill. There we go, this one here. Hopefully you can easily see it. Um, so using the, when I was using my three-facer, Every time I used the three-facer, I was picking it up to make sure I wasn't picking up anything with hollow drills. But yeah, that was only, that amount of rub is just for one colour. Um, and I'll come on camera. From there, down to here. Focus. Hang on a sec. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's sticking again. I had to um, actually make this thing focus again. Um, the also the drill up the glue on this one. I'm actually um, the glue is very soft. Um, so like the canvas that I work with with the the um, the partial that I completed that. The glue is very um, pliable. When I'm placing drills down, I've got to be very, I'm a heavy handed diamond painter. So when I put drills down, you know, I push it, push it down and um, make sure it's slid in nice and close. This one, the, the glue is a bit soft. So while I'm pushing, putting them in, I'm actually sliding in and pushing others around. Um, and normally what I would be doing as I go is Oh, hang on, that one's not staying in. There we go. Um, normally I would use the aqua glue, but I've changed the way that I work on canvases, on the difference between opaque and clear canvases. Opaque canvases, I will work a section at a time. Clear, I'm just going to work a colour for a way, way down at a time on, on the clear. Purely because I, if I cut it, I can't tell where I cut it. Um, that's my, my personal struggle with the clear here. So it is just a case of peeling it down and just working on a colour for a bit. Um, and I have noticed there's some gapping, but I've been using my tool to try and keep these straight. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Clean okay, and the next one. So, this is the the next one was the one. Okay, so this was the family. I, it seems like I haven't done much on it, but I've done completed that section, and this I've started. Um, yeah, the plastic. Obviously, I'm just doing. Why well, it's hard to tell what sections I've done um, is because I'm doing working 
you know, this massive area with, and just using one color, one color, you know, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's looking good. Antelope. Got a creature there, I don't know what that one is. And so this was something that I picked up while I was working on it. Is So this is from Diamond Painting 911. I didn't realise that there is no thumbnail on this picture. That really, um, yeah, it was like, oh, there's no thumbnail. Because I went looking to see what some of the things are. I like that one down there. That's, that's a butterfly. Um, um, and I think that's a rhino back there. But yeah, there's no thumbnail. Right. So that's that one. Then I get on to <coughs> the big ones. Uh, so the short length canvas. Now, a couple of things with working with um, the big canvases. I have, you've probably seen it, I've cut an ever moment tube. Oops, something's going on out there. And I have rolled the canvas and put it inside there. When I have completed a big enough section, this side of the canvas will actually roll over inside another ever moment tube to keep it all nice and neat. Actually, it won't be inside of what, um, an ever moment tube, it will be on the outside. So, um, this one I have been working on my desk like that, but it's a bit too long now. So I'm going to start working on it along this way. Um, I might do some whipping chats with this one. But it's got some stunning colours. Some beautiful, beautiful purples in there. Um, there is the, there is red ABs in there. But they look pink. And there's yellow ABs in there as well. But yeah, look at that purple in there. That's just stunning. And really, really is sparkling. And here we go. Camera again. Not wanting to focus. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Okay, so that's that one I've done. About 20 centimetres of that one, 180 to go. Great thing with the tube, it makes it so much easier to manage. Okay, and my blank canvas, so that one is up to date with recording wise. Just rolling that over. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's all I've gotten done of that. Um, that's about eight hours there to do that much. So I'm oh, oh, just going to stand up to do this. It's got some nice detail, some really nice detail in it. You can see the amount of colour changes in there. So yeah, I'm really am enjoying this one. Nothing sticking on my desk. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, so that's where we've done today. That's where I'm up to today. Um, so yeah, just a lot more diamond painting to be done this fortnight. Um, more research on a camera. <laughs> um, not camera, more research on a computer. So I'll up, have to replace my computer. Um, and two more things. One is um, just gone completely out of my mind. YouTube clips. Um, when we did the um, 
done Painathon, DPathon. We gained, I gained a lot of subs, I, I ended up subscribing to so many more people. Um, and so that meant I have a lot to, um, obviously I've got a lot of YouTube clips of people watching, which is actually no issue now because I finally worked out how to get the top on, on top of my um, um, YouTube clips. So what I do is, for me, I will open up, you know, I'm about to go and sit down and do a, a few hours done painting on like my custom, my blank custom. So what I want to do is I will put everything, um, everything that I've got subscribed to for the day, um, I will put to watch later, but I put it in the order of the smallest amount of time to what takes the longest. Um, that way I go through all, I end up watching all the short ones before I go in and watch the ones that are going to chew one, two hours worth of time. Um, so that way I'm getting, I'm watching so much more. Um, I will say that some of them that I watch, I will actually end up skipping because I'm just not enjoying the content. If I skip a YouTuber for a, their videos for so many times, that's when I go, well, I'm obviously not enjoying watching that. Hopefully you guys aren't doing the same thing for me <laughs> and you are enjoying watching this. Um, but just to keep on top of it, so that was where I'd watch, um, you know, I'd play them in the watch later. So I'd put, put them to the watch later and then in order of, shortest amount of time to the longest amount of time. Then I'd go to my watch later tab and hit play all. Um, so to play through any that I didn't like, I, I skipped through. Um, and then once I finished sitting down in that session of done painting or whatever, I would then go back and look at my subscriptions and look at everything that has been watched on it and the red line along the bottom. So everything that was watched, I hid. So then I ended up with this list of just the view of those that I haven't watched. And then it also showed me those that I've watched but not fully. Um, and if I have those that I've watched, partially watched, and obviously I've skipped them, I leave them there. And then if I find that I've got four or five YouTube clips from that same person and I've skipped them all, that's when I go, okay, I'm not enjoying your content. Um, so that's when I unsubscribe. But it does take about five or four, five, six videos before I go, no, nah, um, I'm not enjoying it. It's not what I'm after. Uh, I mean, YouTube, you pay what you want to see. And it's great to see, subscribe to new people and watch um, them. The YouTubers that um, are new, I will actually watch them right through. I will play them right through. Um, because the newer YouTubers, I, I feel that they need to be given a chance. You might not like the initial lot of um, what they do, but they're developing and learning their channel. And it's really good to watch, um, watch channels develop. Or hopefully you've enjoyed my journey as I've developed my, my channel. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm managing to keep on top. Um, you know, like I have, you, when they group you YouTubes in a subscription, you'll have today, you'll have yesterday, and you'll have this week, and then you'll have this month. I only have this month and whatever's been posted today or in the last 24 hours. Um, so that's, you know, that's me keeping on top of what I've got to watch or what I've been you know, going to be watching. Um, so yeah, it just, by being able to hide, so once I've seen that it's watched, I hide it from my feed. Doesn't mean that I can't see it again. It's just, it'll be on that person's channel. And if you actually watch something and you like it, you actually can go back into your liked videos and you can see your liked videos. 
So if there's something that's got a hint in it or a trick that you want to go back to or something you want to remember, um, obviously you like it. So that's where you're going to find it. It's never going to be hidden from sight. You'll be able to find it again. But it just stops that subscriptions page overwhelming with going, heck, I've got 20 to do. Which ones haven't I watched? Which ones I have watched? Um, and yes, you, when you do on your subscription page, you can see what you've watched. But when you've got so many sitting there, it does get overwhelming. You don't know where to go. Um, but I find by paying the one with the shortest time first, it means then that those with the shorter time, I, I watch more. If I sat down to do my custom diamond painting, you know, if I went and worked on my blank um, for three hours and I only watched one live stream, you know, some of these live streams are two, three hours. How many YouTube clips could I've watched in that time? Um, so yeah, that's when you when I look at what I'm going to do with a play in my watch later list. Yeah, it's always the sh shortest ones first. Um, they deserve as much attention as the longer ones. Um, they actually, belie I believe they should have more attention than the longer ones because the lives are more about the conversations within the within the um, diamond painting community. It's more conversations and not tricks and tips and, and that. Um, unless it's a live unboxing and a live queuing up, which then you find you're talking about the, the product. Um, but I find that the lives, I love attending a live, um, but they end up being just a conversation um, as opposed to information. Um, so, yeah. And, and, you know, it's good to get in. I, don't get me wrong, I will. I attend lives. I love attending lives. But I like being part of the conversation at that time. Um, so most of the lives I tend to scoot through, I suppose. I'll watch a bit and then I'll fast forward and watch a bit and fast forward. And um, some of the stuff you see in lives, mostly positive. But I tell you what, I've seen a lot of negative stuff during lives and it's snowballed. So... Um, I'd rather, if I'm in a live, I'll, I'll sit I'll sit in a live um, for three hours, but I won't do a replay of a live for three hours. So, you know, that's my chance of giving other YouTubers a better look in. But those long lives, I don't hide them until um, I'm absolutely certain that I'm not going to sit and watch it. Um, but they sit there until all the smaller ones are done. And then if I've still got time and I'm still looking for clips to watch, um, I've still got one more diamond painting to do. Um, that's when I play the live, the long lives. Okay, so that's that one. And the last one that I wanted to cover. Um, I have hit 475 subscribers. So... Um, I didn't even think I'd get 100 subscribers. So thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate it. I hid in one of my videos this fortnight um, the ability to be in the draw for the um, 500 subscriber giveaway. And I actually don't know if anybody picked up on the giveaway or what I said didn't make any sense because nobody's done it nobody has done what I asked or it hasn't worked so um, I will what I want to do is in here um, in this YouTube clip you'll, I'll put my email address in what I would like is if you want to go in the draw for the 500 draw giveaway Send me an email. Um, instead, don't comment. Leave comments on, my, on the on the, the video on this clip, but send me an email um, so that then I know that you've actually 
and watched right to the end. And you know, you're, a, you're, you're someone that watches my videos right to the end. And um, just trying to work out how to put it. Yeah, being right at the end, I know you've watched right to the end, um, but if you put a comment about putting a picture in or everybody's answering something similar, that's what tells others that this is a giveaway. So I will have to watch it so that I can find that giveaway. Um, whereas if it just looks like a standard YouTube clip and people put standard comments in and they email me directly, um, it doesn't draw in those that are just watching YouTube clips for giveaways, if that makes sense. Um, I see a lot of, well, I mean, I'm, I'm watching just about all YouTube clips that I'm subscribed to, and I see the giveaways and the hidden messages in giveaways, um, which um, fantastic, you, do, you throw your hidden you, you hide it, but you end up putting people putting comments within um, within the, that video, which then draws people's attention to the fact that there's something going on there. I'll, I'll make a comment. I'll watch this so that I can see if it was. It's because there's a giveaway. Um, so by all means, put a comment on this one, but email me um, in the details, which I'll put my personal email address uh, below. Um, email me with that and um, I'll put you in the draw. Question is, what is the draw? Um, the leopard, <coughs> I will, I'll, there's two choices <coughs> and me being me, it will be a custom of one of my pictures. So a 40 by 50, it will either be the leopard um, the lioness and cub adjusted to be a 40 by 50 or um, close up of a cheetah's head or a cheetah's face uh, a 40 by 50 and that will be via ever moment so um, that one will be I'll order it via ever moment and have it um, sent directly to where you are so please throw me an email email details up below um, I'll work out a way I don't know how to put it into a random random um, random generator to uh, find to pick the winner um, but yeah as I said I just this is a hobby YouTube is a hobby for me um, I think I've come a bit of a way now that I'm showing my face on camera um, and yeah, I've just seen this is like a 20 minute recording. Wow. Well done if you get to the end of this. Definitely send me an email. You deserve to win the prize. Um, so I'll sign off there and I'll see you next fortnight and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.